To perform the individual manual muscle test for flexor pollicis longus, the patient is seated at the table, forearm supinated, the metacarpal phalangeal joint is extended, and the interphalangeal joint is flexed. Stabilize the patient's proximal phalanx with one hand, and while the patient has their interphalangeal joint flexed, you are going to apply resistance to the volar aspect of their distal phalanx in the direction of extension. So hold that there. Don't let me pull this out. Hold, 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 hold. Very good. There really isn't any substitution for this since the flexor pollicis longus is really the only muscle tendon unit that can actively flex the thumb interphalangeal joint. However, if your patient has their thumb interphalangeal joint fully extended, go ahead and straighten it all the way out, and then simply relaxes, it may look like they have some thumb interphalangeal joint flexion when the flexor pollicis longus actually was not active. Just, it's just a position uh, of relaxation from hyperextension with extensor pollicis longus. The tendon for flexor pollicis longus is easily palpated at the volar proximal phalanx.